Hello, my name is Bill Ayel. I'm a Cowlitz member, long term standing, enrolled in the 1950, early 1950s. My family is, was raised in Olympia. My father was a longshoreman, but before that he was a, in the military in World War II in the Army. He was captured in North Africa. He became a POW and, and was sent away to the Stalag POW camps only to come home with tuberculosis. He, he met his future wife at the VA hospital where her brother was housed with him. My father nursed him back to life and so they were lifelong buddies. He, it was an amazing time, I believe, for, for them. He came back to Olympia and as a longshoreman you have great connections. I remember at one time one of his friends came and spent quite a bit of time, fell asleep on the couch and his name, he had a woman's name and his name was Maggie. Turns out that was Senator Warren Magnuson had come home from Washington DC and spent time with his buddy, my dad Ben. And so my dad Ben, he was a well-loved individual. He was the son of Frank Ayel. Frank served our tribe in so many ways. But most importantly, he was the delegate to Washington, D.C., and he passed several pieces of legislation, one of which was a land bill for the Cowlitz tribe, which was eventually vetoed by Calvin Coolidge. Another piece was the Indian Citizenship Act. He passed that. That was the foundation of what's known as the IRA, and he was a very important figure in D.C. on behalf of the, all the tribes. It turns out that that was an important time for the Cowlitz tribe because it meant continuity. It meant that we were under jurisdiction of the federal government at that time, which is the key to the ultimate decision that gave us our reservation. I became a, an engineer after going to Centralia College for a couple of years and then I was sent away by the military to serve two years. I came back and finished my engineering degree at St. Martin's University in Lacey. I got a full ride scholarship and that was, that was very helpful but I worked with the Washington State Dar Department of Transportation as an engineering intern during that time. And after graduation, I've worked for construction firms like Peter Kiewit, a structural engineering firm in Seattle. We designed all of the major facilities at Bangor Base, Submarine Base, and on the North Slope for the Arco uh, Oil Company. So I was able to gain a lot of experience before coming to the city of Tacoma, and I spent 35 years there ultimately as a major projects engineer. But before that, I led several different divisions, including streets and grounds maintenance. I led engineering design section. I led the building department. So I, I was very versatile, as you could say. And that, I think, ultimately helped me as I came to serve the tribe as a tribal council member in 1993. And I did that after seeing the success of the Puyallup tribe. And on behalf of the tribe, I thought, well, Puyallups can have a casino and we need to have one. We were still a long ways away from recognition, but I wanted to start the, the ball rolling on that. So I organized the gaming committee that eventually helped, helped us get to the point where we now have a Lanay.